क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन से शेल ऑफ मास टू हंड्रेड ग्राम इज फायर फ्रॉम अ गन ऑफ मास फोर के जी विच जनरेट टोटल कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव किलो जूल्स द इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी ऑफ शेल इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स यूजिंग द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीनर मोमेंटम वी कैन राइट दैट जीरो वुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू वी वन वैक्टर प्लस फोर वी वैक्टर Here in four is the mass of the gun. V is the recoil velocity of the gun. V one is the speed with which the shell leaves the gun. And dear students, zero is the initial momentum. We have just written that the initial momentum zero would be equal to final momentum. We can proceed further and write that V would be equal to minus one by twenty. V one. Now, dear students, it is given that a total kinetic energy of one point zero five kilo joules is generated, which means that half zero point two V one square plus half four V square is equal to one point zero five into ten to the power three. Dear students, we have just written the net. kinetic energy of the system this is the kinetic energy of the shell and this is the kinetic energy of the gun on substituting the value of v from this expression and solving further dear students we can find out v1 to be equal to 100 meters per second and v to be equal to minus 5 meters per second this is the velocity of the shell and this is the recoil speed or the recoil velocity of the gun dear students we have to find out the velocity of the shell and as per our calculation the correct answer for this question should be option number 1 now let us proceed to the question number 22 question number 22 says consider the situation shown in the figure the strings are massless and pulleys fixed and frictionless the speed of 3 kg mass just before touching the ground is dear students for solving this question we can use the principle of conservation of mechanical energy and write down that the loss in potential energy would be equal to the gain in kinetic energy if the final speeds of the blocks is v we can write down the final kinetic energy to be equal to half 2 plus 3 into v square so this is the change in kinetic energy as well as the initial kinetic energy is zero this would be equal to 3 into g into 5 minus 2 into g into 5 that is the loss in potential energy of the gravitation dear students we can further write down as 5 by 2 v square is equal to 50 or v is equal to under root 20 that is equal to Two root five meters per second, and hence the correct answer for this question is option number two. Now let us proceed to the question number twenty-three. Question number twenty-three is a theoretical question, and it says that in an elastic collision, both momentum and kinetic energy remain constant throughout the collision. Second option: momentum and kinetic energy of each colliding body remains constant. Third. neither momentum nor kinetic energy of the system remains constant or fourth option which says kinetic energy of the system just before collision is equal to the kinetic energy of the system just after the collision dear students in elastic collision or for that matter in any collision the linear momentum of the total system is conserved however the linear momentum of individual particles is not necessarily conserved and therefore dear students the option number Two is incorrect. Now, dear students, in an elastic collision, the initial kinetic energy is equal to the final kinetic energy. However, during the collision, the part of a kinetic energy is transformed into deformation potential energy, which is again restored in the form of kinetic energy at the end of collision. And hence, during the collision, the kinetic energy is not conserved, which means that option number one and option number three are also incorrect. The only correct option. is option number 
which is the correct answer for this question. Now dear students, let us proceed to the question number 24. Question number 24 says, two springs A and B having force constant K and KB, K is equal to 3 KB, are stressed by applying equal forces. If energy stored in A is E, then that in B is. Now dear students, the energy in any spring can be written to be equal to half Kx square, which we can further write down as half k square x square by k. Now dear students, if kx is the force that is developed in the spring, we can write down as f square by 2k. Now dear students, in the question it is given that the forces in the springs are equal. We can write down that ua by ub, that is the ratio of energies, would be equal to f square by 2k into 2kb by f square. These f squares get cancelled out and this 2 gets cancelled out. The final answer is kb by ka. Now dear students, as per the equation k is equal to 3kb, so we can write as kb by 3kb which would be equal to 1 by 3 and therefore dear students ub would be equal to 3 ua as per the question the energy stored in a is e that is ua is e therefore ub would be equal to 3 e and hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3 now let us proceed to the question number 25 Question number 25 says, work done by friction is always positive, always negative, always zero or fourth option may be positive, negative or zero. Dear students, work done by friction can be positive, negative or for that matter zero as well. The correct answer for this question is option number four. We can take specific examples for each case. For work done to be positive, we can take an example of block on block system. That this is block A and this is block B. If we pull block B by a certain force and if the surface between A and B is rough, then the acceleration of A would be provided by the friction and the kinetic energy of A would be increased due to the work done by friction only. Herein, the work done on A by the friction would be positive. Now let us take a case where work done is negative. If we project a block on the ground which is rough with a certain speed, it will eventually come to rest after moving a certain distance. The kinetic energy of the block would be reduced by friction and herein the work done by the friction on block would be negative. Now dear students, let us take another example where work done would be zero. If there is a block A of mass M then the limiting value of friction on the block due to ground would be mu mg where mu would be the coefficient of friction. If we apply a certain force F such that F is less than mu mg then the block would not move however a certain friction force would act on the block. In such, such case since the displacement of the block would be zero the work done would be zero as well. There are innumerable examples to justify the option number 4 of this particular question that the work done by friction can be either positive, negative or zero depending on situations. And therefore the correct answer is obviously option number 4. Now dear students, let us proceed to the question number 26. 